wig. <laughs> you got you got so you rather do the bonnet over the wig? Yes, because I don't. Ooh, child, hold on. Are they going to talk about you? Ain't you no hair to, there. That's okay because you know it's nighttime over here. They they be all right. Well, when they oh, listen, okay. Look, my I, wig I is I off. gave you the fear. Wait, let me see the wig. So that's the. You don't got time to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, you're laughing at me. But my friend over here, she's beautiful. What's the name, baby? What's the name, girl? Hi, my name is Naomi. Naomi, how old are you? I'm 24. 24. Holy hell. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. I just said it earlier in the show. These are some of the laziest women to ever roam the earth. She's 24. Kendra said, why you got this bonnet? She said, well, hell, I ain't got my wig. You 24, where the hell is your hair? And we had the sister on earlier. She was like 23, and she was like, oh, saying something about her, her lace. She couldn't take her hat off. What the hell is going on, man? Laziness, dust, and funk. She had the nerve. There's no shame. You know, shout out to Dusto. Ninja, do you see why we say bring shame back? This is to compare in a bonnet. No hair on her head. She definitely got traction alopecia. I don't know if y'all seen what I'm seeing. Her inside her head, ball like mine. And she gonna hold up her, her weave. It's right here, and it's blonde. God, dog. Sexy Red and Sukiana. Ruin jaw. Ruin jaw. Here we go. Hit the like button. What you do for a living? <laughs> well, right now, I work with the city. I don't want to really give too much information. Okay, you work with yes. For the city, I respect it. Do you have any kids? No. No kids. Do you believe in zodiac signs? No, but I'm a, I am was born in November. Okay, that's fine. I'm a Scorpio. Naomi, <laughs> what city you call me from? Where you live? I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Naomi, Fort Lauderdale, 24, works for the city. No kids. I think I got it all. What kind of man are you looking for? First, one that loves God because my parents are pastors and I I go to my mom because I am not making a mistake. I was married before and I'm divorced. I was married for a year. It was crazy. Did but you get married because of your religious beliefs? I was forced into it. I was young. Hello, hello was you? Hello. Huh? How was you when you got married? 19. Why was you forced into it? Because of um, the mom there, because the mom was in it. He's a mama's boy. It, she, because she had certain standards she seen herself as, and she just, she didn't want nobody talking about it, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> okay, so what made you guys get a divorce ultimately? Because she should have known that her son was crazy. He put his hands on me. So I said, uh, I'm not staying in this. Understandable. Okay, so you're divorced. Um, okay, um, let's keep going. So what other requirements do you have before we get to your deal breakers? Um, well, you said my deal breakers? Before we get there, do you have any more requirements? What else oh, yeah. you wanted to man? Um, one that, you know, it has to be a certain height because I'm tall. How, so, how tall are you? I'm 5'9". Okay. Okay. So you want to be taller than you? Do you wear heels? I do wear heels in this. I'm like six foot in heels. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm telling you because I wear high, I wear some heels that's high. So, and I'm a church girl. So, okay. I nice, you know. Right now I'm crazy. Okay. But please don't come for me, guys. I usually look proper, but because it's nighttime, you know. Yeah. Tell you what, the representation for the church is you got better representation for the the damn mocha fest than you do at the damn local church. <laughs> Holy not, hell. My point exactly. These these sisters come here, stay claiming, you know, hey Zeus. And that's I always ask that question. Is hey Zeus proud of the way you represent his movement? Suppose whatever the hell y'all claim? Seriously. Is, is this a good representation of anything? I say not. Pretty sure your, your passive father and mama ain't proud of this display. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. 
I'm I'm a I'm a pastor starter with a blonde wig. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't see it. I done been to too many churches. I know people they talk. Churches is the most cattiest, clickish, thuggish, gangsters places. And you walk in there, the, the preacher's wife got a blonde wig, she the talk of the church. Look at this hat, look at this hussy. Look at her. <laughs> well, here we go. Cook bone question. Girl, I gotta come from you. I already told you that the time. I'm nervous, and I'm nervous too. I'm really shy. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> now let's get to your deal breakers. What are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers. Um, a guy who doesn't have confidence. Um, not family oriented. Um, and and who who's abusive. Someone who's a that knows that they're abuser, but they know they're abuser, but they want to put it on someone else. So know they're abuser. Another thing. One another thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um. No. Me, I'm more of um. It's about the heart. Heart. You know, as long as I know that your heart is in the right, the right setting, the right you know, then I'm okay. 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 Um, okay. What about money? So we got to make a certain amount of money. Um, it's not, not really as long as you can provide for yourself and you know, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Let's do the kids or Kim, Naomi. Oh, snap. I I forgot about the kids or Kim, Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> We don't need a whole camera for you. You're calling for a lot of yeah, time, so it's 9 13 there. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't got shorts and stuff. Okay. No, you can. Yeah. Turn it around. Girl. Well, you got to show it to us, honey. We got to see. see. I ain't got much. I'm skinny, you know. You say you ain't got much? No, I'm skinny, but it's getting there. We got to see your legs. So you said you're tall, right? Huh? Okay, yeah, you are tall. I mean, you are, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. She built like a damn orangutan. It's over, man. It's a... You know, it behooves me that your hoes be walking around here stinking, funk, funk, kitty cat, licking ass. You hear me? And just got them all out those. Her oh. presentation is so foobar. So foobar. Maria Smith, you be trolling though, you love me. Y'all be wilding. <laughs> this ain't it. Again, I guarantee you her father ain't, you know, ain't proud. This is this ain't this ain't given. This ain't given holy, sanctified, filled with Holy Ghost pride. This ain't given none of that that her father would would want. She got on red tank top, a black bonnet, and some shorts. This she all disheveled, it's all wonky. This is crack fit. I'm annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Like it's I mean, like, it's, seriously, man. <laughs> it's give yourself a shot. Give yourself a chance. Come, come up here, up here looking like Felicia on Friday, man. Like Craig, can I borrow some ketchup? You understand? Can I borrow, can I borrow your car right quick, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boom, oh. Can I borrow your microwave? I'm like what? <laughs> I'm just giving dust. All right, we see you. So Naomi, um, you're 24. What's the age range you would date? Um, the age date is between 30 to 40. That's it. 30 to 40. Okay. Um, can the guy have kids already? Mm. <laughs> I say okay. No, no. That's, okay, I think I'm 24 years old. That's an understandable request of a guy that has no kids. I dealt with you a want, man with kids. So. Yes. <laughs> do you want do you want kids yourself one day? Yes. One day when you know if okay. it gets there. Okay. Should he be in Fort Lauderdale? Um, he could be anywhere because I travel. You travel. Okay. Um, okay. Um, when was your last relationship? Um two years ago. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two years ago. Okay. Now, 
you are a pastor's child. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you're both of your parents, yeah. right? So are you on a celibacy journey again so you get married? Yes. Yes. Okay. So no cookie unless you buy the jar. Oh, gee, not them come for my sheets. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, so, no, I'm not no cookie for the jar, no. And it wouldn't even work anyways, because if a man doesn't seem appealing, you know. So and if, he doesn't they, what? if he doesn't seem like appealing, because some people oh, come wow. off funny, right? Some guys are really funny. They want a lot from you, but then they don't want to put in what you give them. So it depends on how they come off. Then it depends. Okay. Um, okay. What are three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship? Um, I can say, um, speaking up for myself. Yes, because sometimes I don't, I don't, I just let a lot of things slide. Um, another one would be that, um, I can say, I guess, I, I'm a very caring person. So I, hmm. And I tell you what, this Bonquisha here, she got a word for y'all, Tony Bones and y'all detractors. I want to talk about me, so I swear to God, I sure make the struggle look good. I make that motherfucker look good. You hear me? Even if I ain't got it going on, even I keep telling you, even if I ain't got no car, even if I ain't got no house, I ain't outside of none of that. But I make the struggle look good. That's what you be so mad about. What? What? We now we taking pride in making the struggle look good. That's what you're mad about. That's what I'm mad about. Cause we they make the struggle look good. We jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh my good. This sister, man, she didn't she really didn't say too much. She ain't got no kids. All right. She was married for a whole year. She ain't blowed out. What y'all mad about? There you go, Gab. They mad because she make this shit look good. Y'all <laughs> mad because that bonnet look good. She making that struggle look real good. Hey, oh, uh, they called her Ice JJ Fish. That was oh, oh. he love. Grow up, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, she do make the struggle. I guess look good as it could be. She could. Uh, she could. Um. She was married, joking that Nate. She, she was married for a year, though. But <laughs> I don't know. I feel bad for her. She she ain't. She said she ain't giving up no cooter cat. She ain't. She ain't been intimate in two years. It's funny because what else do y'all expect from a woman? She was married, young, didn't give him no kids, and now she back out here, and she's and she's celibate. All right. She mm -hmm. said her cooter cat won't even work, you know, if he ain't him. So. There you go. Tony Bones says, skip, skippity skip. Enough is enough. I agree. But hmm. it's unfortunate because she didn't say nothing alarming. It's just a presentation. There you go. First, well, the first impression is everything. And first thing we saw was a bonnet, an empty bonnet. Somebody sent a chance, all air up under there. Uh, empty bonnet, <laughs> tank top, and, and dusty pants. I tell you what, this woman here... <laughs> We're just going to take her out during ejector in space. Let her figure it out. Right. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. I hope you find some peace of mind.